1939 and only held 7,500 people. 70 years later, it holds nearly 12 times that. We're live at Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, Alabama. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Texas A&M is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 27. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Tackle around the 28-yard line. Hunter gets about a yard on the play. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Texas A&M's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Daniels gets the call. Runs it left for a decent game. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Tight end, incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Texas A&M is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he missed it to the right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He's at midfield. 
They'll bring him down at about the 45. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 40. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 40. goes at the 30 yard line oh this is a great job by this young man to get the ball out of his hands he was facing an all-out blitz and didn't panic at all it's a nice pass and a new set of downs to show for it he's got it out to his tight end He's tackled at the 31. That'll be a loss of one. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From the 31-yard line, it's second down. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down around the 26-yard line. Got him on the screenplay. Tackle made around the 12-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 12. Looks to a receiver, touchdown! And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an eight-play, 62-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Auburn is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He scrambled. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Let's go. Let's go. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game seven. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And now he pitches it. Nice run to the outside. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten.
carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Moss off the right side. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he stopped behind the line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. The 10. And they make the stop around the 5-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. From the five-yard line, second down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. 13th play of the drive coming up. Touchdown, Aggies! A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. It was a 13-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure that touchdown of their last possession has given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's into the open field. And he hits him hard at the 35. Here he goes. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. First and 10, let's see if they can build off that great run.
Nice run up the middle. Got a man. Watch out here. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That's the kind of poise you'd love to see from your quarterback because it's contagious. The defense sent all of their linebackers on a blitz, and no one on the offense looked phased. They came away with big yards and a first down. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Touchdown, Tigers! And he hits the PAT. Auburn to kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. That's a game five on the way. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. We're through one quarter. Auburn's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He laterals the ball. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 46 yard line. From their own 46 yard line. First down. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and 10. Makes it to the 34. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Finds his man. First down. And he's tackled around the 30 yard line. First down. run there so he holds on to it and gets a good five yards we've got a second and five ball on the 25 yard line the defender had his hands on it but it's incomplete well you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers so that was a really good effort it's the ninth play of the drive Wide receiver screenplay. Tackle at about the 25-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. Ready 
the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Auburn is up by four. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. I think sometimes offenses forget to even include corners as defenders and tacklers because a lot of corners just want to be out there and playing against the pass. But this is a corner that they have got to be responsible and remember in the future that he's got to be involved in being able to come up with a blocking scheme. This time they just let him go, and he's athletic and strong enough to come up and make a play. And he's level at the 21. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up third and 10. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 21. He's going left. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Number 10, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and 10. Barber is back deep to return the punt. He's at midfield, brought down at the 47th. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He makes it to the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, second down. Feeds it to the back, and he is drilled at the 43-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Scrambling around. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Auburn holds a four-point lead. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Braddy drops the ball here. I don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what, but that ball's right in his hands. He just dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Off and he won't make it. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He 
sees it midfield. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. From the 37-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 36. Just throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes at about the 31. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 27. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Auburn is up one. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. He's got an opening. Makes it to the 41. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They'll work the right side. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. From the 41-yard line, it's third down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. That'll make it fourth and ten. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. 
So the Aggies quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so nice. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job right now. If you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he shoved out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. They get a one-yard loss on that one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 48-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Keys on the tackle at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up 36. He's under some heat, and he can't get away from the pressure. going to have much time to get rid of this punt. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Auburn, up a point. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 14-13, Auburn. Welcome back to the action. Second half just about set to begin, and we got a tight game here. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it.
here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And they push him out at the 31. Scott will be the return man. Tackle made at the 35. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Auburn with a one-point lead. They'll bring him down at about the 35. That makes it second and 10. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Brought down around the 35-yard line. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. Got it to the senior. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line. down 10 yards to go ball on the 49 tackle right around the 30 from the 30-yard line. First down. He fights forward to about the 30, so he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. Auburn is up one. Nearly intercepted. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Flips it middle to the running back. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Kicks away, and it is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 30-yard line. Quick toss. The hit knocks it loose, incomplete. Quick pass, and down he goes at the 46. First down. Right and left, right and 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gains his way to the 33 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33. He's scrambling. Missed tackle. He's taken down at the 23 yard line. That brings up second and one. Just throws this one away. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 17-16, Auburn. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 35-yard line. Both teams have really answered the bell here in the third quarter. Kirk. Well, exciting to see what these offenses have been able to do here. Be able to come out and score in your first drive. Tells you a lot about what they did during the half. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Auburn up a point. Under pressure. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Going right to his tailback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40. There's a very impressive open field tackle. First and ten. Ball on the 37. with a blitz. Yeah, that time the pressure came from the safety position. Nobody picked him up, but he came up with a big-time play. So the sack makes this a second and long. Hunter on the right side. 
Nice run, and he's brought down. Hunter gains about four yards on the play. with a one-point lead. That's a great tackle. The 27-yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They don't get it. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost them the possession. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Brought down in the open field. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice run there. Daniels gets about four yards on the play. Gets to about the 44-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 44. And he's stopped behind the line. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down again. Going deep. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. To punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Auburn is up one. After a decent pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 31 yard line. He's on the run, and they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Lost of four yards on the play. Makes it 
It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 35. So at the end of the third quarter, Auburn in front, 17-16. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Auburn up a point. Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. Chapman is the punter. And he just got stood up right there. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Makes it to the 44. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. They got him for a loss. From their own 49-yard line, second down. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Tackle made right around the 40. He launches one for the end zone. The defender had it and then dropped it. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Oh, and a huge drop by the wide out here in the fourth quarter. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Another run, brought down at the 21-yard line. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. Texas A&M ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Throws complete. Big loss. From their own 18-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. That makes it third and eleven. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Tackle at the 45. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it third and five. From their own 42 yard line. It's third down. He sails it long. This one will fall incomplete. Barber will be the return man. From the 15. Oh man, did he take a hit. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Texas A&M holds just a two-point lead. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds around the 30-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's got an opening. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of six yards. That makes it first and ten. He's taken down at the 33. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one.
and he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25. Less than three minutes in the game. Quickly. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. From the 25 yard line, it's second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Auburn's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And down he goes around the 15 yard line. The Tigers using their third and final timeout. And he is drilled at the 14 yard line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Makes it to the five. That'll bring up third and inches. So we're looking at another third down here. After a short game. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. 13th play of the drive coming up. Texas AM with a two point advantage. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. And the ball game's over. So the Aggies get the victory, 1917. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.